this. I bring my tapes down here so I can fucking hear the music. Sorry, I don't do anything with it. There's no statement there. I like the tune. They got a good stereo. Cool. I got a shitty stereo. I brought my tapes down here. I brought my Dylan tapes down here. You know he sings. For years, I thought, what's the fucking deal? G C G C. I can do that. He's a genius. He's a oh no, he's got lyrics. Oh, huh? opened up this whole fucking world. You know, I mean, I recommend getting a stereo. You can hear Dylan's lyrics. First of all, folks, how do they have a Hank? Guy you saw up earlier, Hank. And thank y'all for coming out, too. I know how hard it is to get off the couch these days, you know. It is. I mean, particularly, uh, I forgot all about fucking uh, Texas in June, too. This ain't even it yet, is it? I am going to look like this about five minutes. I'm going to be fucking wet, you know. And, uh, people want July, you're walking around with snorkels, you know. Fuck it. <laughs> Are you qualified to go get the paper? I'm going to try it anyway. Fuck it. Just, uh, we live the world's just off, you know, parallel lines are now colliding in our planet. And, uh, <laughs> watch the news, you know, it's frightening. You get the impression you just walk out your door, you're immediately going to be raped by some crack-addicted, AIDS-infected pit bull or something, you know? <laughs> Horrible CNN story, you know? Honey, I'm going to check the mail. <laughs> what do you say we stay inside tonight, baby? Let the Domino's guy deal with that shit out there. <laughs> yeah, Domino's, could you send another car over, please? I know that's your third one. That last guy almost made it. You can almost reach the pizza box with the broom hat. How come those pit bulls are eating your driver, but they're not touching that fucking pizza? Pretty soon we're all going to be locked inside our homes, no one on the streets but Domino's guys and armored Chevettes with turrets <laughs> launching pizzas through the mail slots of our front doors. Here comes lunch, kids! Do it! <laughs> America. You are free to do what we tell you. Isn't it Friday? You ever just watch what's coming up on CNN? Just watch what's coming up. It'll scare the shit out of you. <laughs> this half hour war, death, famine, AIDS, homeless, recession, depression, drought, flood, earthquake, pit bull. <laughs> and the Hollywood Minute. It's <laughs> Hollywood still working. They're still pumping out that celluloid magic. <laughs> Hollywood. That's where I live. It's a nightmare. But I gotta say, I can't have two sour grapes because I finally got my show. My show's gonna be on NBC next year. Uh, it's a weekly show that I'm going to host, and it's entitled Let's Hunt and Kill Billy Ray Cyrus. <laughs> I think it's pretty self-explanatory what happens. Every week I let the hounds of hell loose and we chase that cracker asshole all over the fucking world. And I catch that little faggoty ponytail of him, pull him to the ground. <laughs> Alright folks, see you next year for Let's Hunt and Kill Michael Bolton. Good night, you've been beautiful. Every year we'll hunt and kill a different, you know, egregious fucking Twit. And, uh, it's all part of my plan to bring the earth one step closer to Eden. And I think that uh, as we get rid of these fucking idiots one by one, the world will just lighten up. You know what I mean? Clouds will fucking part, the sun will beam down, and birds will start chirping. <laughs> 
theory, and I, I know it sounds, but we have to try it out. <laughs> so I'm doing that next year. In the meantime, uh, I've been doing a one-man show, like many comedians these days. Comedians are doing one-man shows a lot, and I'm no exception. I've been doing a one-man show at the Improv in Stokey, West Virginia, and uh, off, 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 off Broadway. And I've been doing a one-man show based on my life growing up in a happy and healthy loving family. And the show is entitled, Let's Spend Half a Minute with Bill. And, uh, well, hell, I can do the whole show for you right now, since it's only half a minute. It's about growing up in a happy, healthy, and loving family. Uh, here's how it goes. Thank you. Uh, Mama never beat me, and Daddy never fucked me. Good night. T-shirts are on sale in the lobby. There's an audience for it in this, you know, self-help country that we live in, but, uh, yeah. It's fun doing the show in West Virginia, too, because I got all these people come up to me at the show time. Yeah, it's real good. You're good. I like your show. Uh, one thing, though, that thing about your dad never fucking you, that's a joke, right? might use poetic license to every day my dad fun. Good. Daddies are poor. So that's just what's been happening. And I just got back in the country. I was in Australia. A uh, very interesting place. Very interesting. Australia. I don't know if you've ever been there. Anyone ever been there? Been there? Fascinating. As big as the United States is geographically. Picture that. As big as the U.S. geographically. With as few people as are in this room right now. Is that fucking weird? There are literally no worries, mate. No worries, mate. It's a really interesting place. Um, I was over there for Easter, found out they celebrate Easter the same way we do, commemorating the death and resurrection of Jesus by telling our children a giant bunny rabbit <laughs> left chocolate eggs in the night. I wonder why we're fucked up as a race. Anyone want to venture a guess here? I read through the Bible, can't find the words bunny or chocolate in the whole fucking book. Why those two things? Why? Why not a goldfish left a Lincoln log in a fucking fireplace? What are you, you're making shit up. Where do you get this shit? Bunny, egg, chocolate, what the fuck? Other books of the Bible, my Bible that I have or something? Are y'all Gideons? Who the fuck are the Gideons? Anyone here ever met a Gideon? No! Yeah, every fucking hotel room. This Bible was placed here by a Gideon. When? I've been here all fucking day. Saw the housekeeper come and go, saw the minibar guy come and go. Not a Gideon to be fucking seen. Sneaking around, leaving Bibles. I'm gonna capture me a Gideon one day. I'm gonna call down to the front desk. Yeah, I don't seem to have a Bible up here. I'm gonna capture him and I'm gonna tour the world with him like King Kong. Who wants to see the Gideon? Watch out, he'll throw a Bible 50 yards! <laughs> uh, and I saw chocolate eggs dancing in my fucking head! Another death? <laughs> yeah, why not? Never met again. <laughs> so, I was in there and I missed the uh, big uh, ending of the wake up. Uh, I was in Australia. Which I'm really bummed about, because I thought the, uh, I thought the Waco thing is the most fascinating story of the year, far and none, you know. I really did. Uh, a lot of people are upset with the guy, because he called himself Jesus, you know, but come on, man. The guy's real name was Vernon. <laughs> Let him be Jesus for a couple of months. That's a 
to you. You know what I mean? Fuck you. I'm gonna follow a messiah named Vernon. You gotta be Jesus. That's part of the messiah deal. Vernon said that. Well, fuck Vernon. Vernon. Damn. I'm sitting in the shade till a guy named Jesus walks by. So, Vernon, whatever, Rock, people have said I remind him of Koresh a lot, and I am kind of, I'm like Koresh without the guns or pussy. Just an annoying guy, you know, he plays a mediocre act, but you know, but uh, it's weird, you know it's weird, it's, all these people always snap and think they're Jesus, you know what I mean, isn't that weird? How come no one ever snaps and thinks they're Buddha? <laughs> you know what I mean? Particularly in America, you know? Where more people resemble Buddha than Jesus. state power will uh, will win no matter what. You know what I mean? We'll burn your ass to the fucking ground. Got it? Got it. Oh no, we heard that the children were being abused. Really? Why don't you, I don't see any Bradley fucking tanks circling Catholic churches right now. <laughs> great weather. Is there any child abuse in that weather front? There could be some cold little fingers. We'll be right back. When the child abuse comes, we'll bring it to you live. So that's what we're faced with today. It's just people, you know, no one's, you know, just points out, you know, this, everyone's, I was over there in Australia, and everyone's like, what's it like in Waco, Texas, and Koresh? Isn't it bizarre? A madman with machine guns, with a messianic complex who plays guitar and fucks every woman that walks. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's all my friends in Austin. What the fuck? Wait till they get a hold of Wolf Zendek. Damn. on a complex, plays guitar, and fucks every woman that wants. I don't know whether they call themselves Jesus, but, uh, I don't know. Christianity's the weird one, though, you know. Christianity's such an odd religion, you know. I was raised that way, you know, and you can just suffer from it. You know, the whole image is that, you know, eternal suffering awaits anyone who questions God's infinite love. <laughs> That's the message, isn't it, that we're brought with. Believe or die. Thank you for giving, Lord, for all those options. <laughs> uh, it's a weird belief, man. People, a lot of Christians wear crosses around their necks. You think when Jesus comes back, he's going to want to see a fucking cross? <laughs> Still wearing crosses, Dad. Fuck it, I'm not going. No. No, they totally missed the point. Look at him. I'll go back as a bunny. But... Aren't you Jesus? No, I'm a bunny. Shut up, dude. Here's an egg. I'll be back later when y'all get over this fucking cross thing. Let it rest! You know what that means? It's kind of like going up to Jackie Onassis with a rifle pendant on, you know? Good job, Jackie. We love him. <laughs> Keep that memory alive, baby. 
on. Get off your fucking We Hate Ponds high horse. Best pun you will ever hear. Anti Castro pigeons flying Oswald over the motorcade saying coo. Highlights Magazine next week. <laughs> Read it to your kids in the dentist office. Here's a little pun, Tommy. Keep the one about who again. You gotta get pun every time I see you. I just think it's interesting. I think it's interesting people's attitudes about Kennedy's assassination. You know, people come up to me all the time. Feels a long time ago. Did you just forget it? Just let it go. It was a long time ago. Jesus, forget it. I'm like, all right, then don't bring up Jesus to me. <laughs> you know, as long as we're talking shelf life. Well, you know, Jesus died for, yeah, it was a long time ago. Let it go. Forget about it. How about this? Get pilots to release the fucking files. <laughs> Wash your hands and release the files, pilot. Who else was on that grassy Golgotha that day? Oh yeah, the three Roman peasants with the hundred dollar sandals. Yeah, everyone. Right. <laughs> Howard is hunted. <laughs> so I was there in Australia. I'll be right I had to. I'll be right oh, boy, poor America is going through so many giant moral dilemmas. One of them was uh, gays in the military. Big issue, big issue. Gays in the military. Gays want to be in the military. What do y'all think about that? Okay. Here's what I think. I'll go ahead and tell you what I think. Anyone dumb enough to want to be in the military should be allowed in. the only requirement. Apparently push-ups or sit-ups you can do. You want to be in? There's a helmet. Go dig a foxhole. We'll tell you when we need you. I love watching these, uh, these, uh, uh congressional whatever, these, you know, these, these, uh, meetings going on and, uh, these the military guys with their very serious, you know, our esprit de corps of the military and we're a fine moral, uh, you're a murderer! Shut the fuck up! You're hired killers, okay? Go under the fucking rock till we lift it and sick you on some little brown nation. Until then, shut the fuck up. Okay? Till we tell you to go name home a village of children and fucking women. Until then, Mr. Moral fucking organization, shut the fuck up. You're there, you take orders, you fuck! Somehow we've gotten out of, you know, perspective here, how the government works. I know it's from watching that fucking show, Cops, too. It scares the shit out of everyone. But it's fascinating. I can't, I watch it every night. Oh, God, my God. Really? Busted these people. The most horrible, queasy feeling. Why don't you just have a show called Stormtrooper? Have a different fucking guest each week. This week it's Red Fox on IRS Bust. <laughs> Who that at my door? What you want? The rings on your fucking finger. <laughs> Next week it's Willie Nelson. Watch them meet the IRS. <laughs> What is the fascination about watching, you know, this, this arm of terrorism fucking go with impunity through our fucking launch? I think this is a good thing. <laughs> you are free to do what we tell you. Hear that, night? We're free. That's what everyone asked me in Australia, too. Because everyone, first of all, I'm from Texas, so... Everyone in Australia, first of all, thinks you're a goofball, right? Because that fucking image Texas has, because of the national media. No matter what happens, in, 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 when the national media cuts to Houston or Texas, no matter what happens, no matter what the story's about, what's the first thing you see when they cut to Texas? Exactly. That fucking two-step band. No matter what the story's about, either. The first man launched to Mars is about to take off from NASA. Let's go to Houston right now. What is the 
some intergalactic fucking hayride? I've lived here my whole life. I've never seen this fucking band. Who are these people? I was, when I was 13, I was in a punk band. It was in a barn. But still. UFOs have landed in San Antonio. Let's cut down there now. Swing your alien round and round. Bunch of goofballs we are. Embarrassing. In part two, as you know, from America, they're like, are you proud to be an American? They kept asking me that. It's a really weird question. Proud to be an American? I said no. I had nothing to fucking do with it. You know what I mean? What did I have to do? My parents fucked here. Big deal. for me to take credit with. <laughs> they should put that on our flag. Not stars and stripes. Pictures of our parents fucking. <laughs> Maybe this button rally mentality won't fucking have a foothold. Gather people around that flag and see your dad hunched over your mom's big four by four butt. Yeah, I'm proud to be from there. That's where I'm that's where my pride comes from right there. Stage in Australia, this American tourist woman comes up. Aren't you proud to be American? I said, Why? What America? What? There's no such place. It's a fucking round world, man. Well, aren't you proud of America? And I go, Like, what? Of what? What would I be fucking proud of? Well, like, the Grand Canyon. <laughs> what the fuck are you? Is that you I saw digging that? <laughs> I can't take credit for the Grand Canyon. <laughs> Uh, my schedule will prove I had a little to do with the Grand Canyon. <laughs> but you know what I mean, man. I mean, I'm not, I'm, you know what I mean? It's just nothing to be proud You know, it's just, it's life. You, uh, I was real embarrassed a few years ago with that flag burning fiasco in the country, and I was so embarrassed, man, watching the news and watching these idiots on the news. Hey, buddy, my daddy died for that. <laughs> Bummer, I bought mine. <laughs> You know, they sell them at Kmart for three bucks. No violence. Is that just... Hey, buddy, my daddy died in the Korean War for that flag. What a coincidence. My flag was made in Korea. It's a small world after all. It's a small world after No one ever died for a flag, okay? Ever. You may have died for what the flag represented. Okay, which is the freedom to burn the flag. It's called a paradox. Philosophers can live with it. I believe we can too. I believe it's time to evolve. I really do. Ready? Go. Okay, I'll go first. I saying you should burn a flag? I didn't say you should burn a flag. Did anyone hear me say you should burn a flag? No, no I didn't say that, because I didn't say it! <laughs> Are you saying you think people should be able to burn flags? Yeah. So here's what I actually think, because in the true definition of freedom, here's what I think we should do. Make everybody happy. You ready? For those people who think flags should be able to be burned, make it legal. For those people who think it should not be, it's not, it never was, don't worry, we're cracking down. <laughs> Life will exist exactly as it does now, only without the onus of guilt, shame, or legality. And freedom in its true definition will be experienced. As long as we shall evolve until the fucking clouds separate, sun beams down. Oh, you mean freedom? You mean really freedom? That's novel. You know what I mean? <laughs> Another big issue that happened over there, at least in England, it was huge. I don't know if it was here because I wasn't here. Uh, was uh, women priests. What do y'all think of that? <laughs> women priests. I say, why not? You know? Why not? 
Now we'll have priests of both sexes I don't listen to. <laughs> Who gives a fuck? How about that for an answer? Have one with three balls and eight titties. I could give a flying fuck. How about that? Have one with gills and a trunk. Have a hermaphrodite one. I don't give a shit. Well, I appreciate your quaint cults, traditions, superstitions, and customs. I, on the other hand, am an evolved being who deals solely with the source of light that exists in all of our minds. No middleman required. <laughs> I really do, you know, and uh, it's just so many weird things go on simultaneously, you know. For instance, I flew in yesterday, right? Now, here's the deal. They don't allow smoking on airplanes anymore, correct? But they allow children. <laughs> A little fairness with these fucking rules, maybe? <laughs> Some mother on the plane, well, smoking bothers me. <laughs> well, guess what? <laughs> Come over here and let's chat about Junior for a couple of minutes. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, I don't feel like I should be here. Put out the kids on the fucking plane. They're your kids. You love them. Great. Keep them near you. Okay? You love them so much. Hug them tight. Okay? I hate these people think that you want their fucking kids in your life. You know? Father and father, stranger, baby. <laughs> man over there drawing on the milk carton, mama? Yeah, that guy. I fly in, and, and, and I look out, every seat next to me empty. Cool, I'm going to sleep. Right, I'm exhausted. I, all the armrests go up, I lay down. Finally, I get some sleep, right? And I feel this tapping on my head. And I look up, and there's this little kid. Loose! Someone said it loose! that might attract the attention of a little toddling fucking two-year-old, the top of my head beat out all the competition. <laughs> Fuck Barney the Dinosaur. Put the top of my head on TV. Millions. Little kids will surround the TV, their little saucer eyes unblinking, and all of them just tapping the fucking screen. I don't know what it is about the top of my head. You know, he's just tapping me repeatedly. I look across the aisle at mom, she's grinning like an idiot, you know. <laughs> Guy next to the mom, they're so cute when they're that small. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Let your little kid run loose on a plane. Then the kid ran over the emergency exit and he started flipping that handle to the door. <laughs> the mom started to get up, and I went, wait a minute. <laughs> We're about to learn an important lesson. <laughs> well, you're right, the smaller he gets, the cuter he is.
chair later with the kid and go into his own demise. That's a good one. Pickles, my funny about yeah, I'm alone in the world, and uh, I know you probably find that hard to believe. But... Chicks will be clamoring over each other to hang with Mr. Sunshine. Where's that guy that hates everything I believe in? Maybe. But I realize I'm like a 31-year-old curmudgeon, you know what I mean? I am. I'm like an 80-year-old guy inside of a 31-year-old body. You know? I actually went to a dance club a couple of weeks ago, and uh, I do that about once a year just to confirm the other 264 days I spend in my own fucking apartment going, Jesus, they're idiots! And uh, it gives me that fuel. A brief perusal. And, uh, no, but this, this woman asked me to dance, right? And I thought that was so funny. Women have this weird, like, myth that you can tell the way a guy is in bed by how he is on the dance floor. I say, what does it matter? You know what I mean? If a guy's out on a dance floor, really getting into it and enjoying himself, what does it matter how he is in bed? He's gay. <laughs> You see, yeah. That's the real problem. What is dancing anyway but expressing your inner emotions via act, via movement, right? What? I'm dancing right fucking now. <laughs> Ooh, I'm cutting her up. Move I just made it. I milked all my emotions in that little position. <laughs> it's hard to have a relationship in this business. You're always traveling, keeping weird hours, you know. It's going to take a very special woman, you know. Or a bunch of average. <laughs> uh, my point of this ultimately is that. <laughs> So, are there any questions? <laughs> I quit smoking. Thanks for bringing it up. I'd forgotten for about five seconds. I'm all nervous again. This little five second thing. Hey, I don't think about smoking. Okay, oh, I just thought about it. <laughs> very hard to quit, man. It's very, very hard, you know. Uh, they all look great to me. I'm far from reformed. If you got them, fucking smoking them. If you're smoking them, blow them right up my fucking left <laughs> hand. Nose, mouth to nose resuscitation. That's what I need. Yeah. Nicotine to no nicotine resuscitation. <laughs> Just take a big puff, grip both my nostrils with your lips, and go. <laughs> They look good to me. I see everything blowing up there. They look like fireflies. They look great, too. Every one of them looks like it was made by God, rolled by Jesus, and moistened shut with Claudia Schiffer's pussy right now. or marketing, kill yourself. <laughs> no joke there, really, seriously, kill yourself. Okay, back to the show. Now, anything there's a joke on, there's no fucking joke. Kill yourself. You can suck a tail pie, hang yourself, borrow a pistol from a Branch Davidian friend. I don't care how you do it. Rid the earth of your evil fucking presence. Okay, thanks. The sad thing is, I know what all the marketing people are thinking right now, they're thinking, gee, Bill's going for that anti-marketing market. That's a huge market. That's real smart. It's a great market. Have you 
seen our research? Huge. Huge anti-marketing sentiment out there. That's great. Go step into that. That's a great margin. See, it blows my mind. No one figured out these people are fucking you yet. You know what I mean? First of all, what's marketing used for more so than like television? Television shows. It's all done by demographics and marketing. Shows are created not even around real people, around real events, around real emotions, but around numbers and marketing and populace. And nine out of ten of those fucking shows fail. And yet, people continue to put their stock in fucking marketing. You know? If Kentucky Fried Chicken poisoned nine out of ten people, they change their fucking formula. <laughs> That's what you're seeing on The Tonight Show right now. You watch The Tonight Show with Jay Leno? Is it enjoyable at all to anybody? Or is it the most frightening, pathetic, sad? That's the amazing thing about the time we live in now. You can not only watch a guy who's made a Faustian bargain, but with the technology of the day, you can see the instant comeuppance. Every single night. Because he's playing to the demographic, not the fucking people, you know? And imagine mainstream America that doesn't even fucking exist anymore. And if they do, fuck them. <laughs> if that's their kind of entertainment, they're fucking morons. Fuck them. Write your letters. Write your priests. Write your congressman. Who gives a fuck? I'm offended by your language. Fuck you. Good. I'm offended by the fat that dangles under your fucking arm. Who do I write? Huh? Keep around. You fucking morons! Did it ever occur to you you're born and then you fucking die? I find that offensive. Slatter <laughs> this politically correct bullshit. I think we should hunt and kill politically correct people. I think I think we should eat them. They gotta have good flesh. They have to. They don't drink, they don't smoke, they jog. That's good eating. <laughs> We can live off politically correct people. <laughs> Gotta be high in protein, those people. I'm offended. I get that all the time. You wouldn't believe it. Every fucking show, somebody has to come out. They always stay through the whole show, too. You know, they can't. I could I was so shocked my legs quit working. <laughs> You, I can only imagine how much fucking must bother you. It's a word. We're all still here, the earth's still on its axis. Calm the fuck down, right? <laughs> I'm so I don't know what I'm talking about. It's just, it's just so frustrating, you know? Abortion. This is the issue that's going to divide this country in half. I've never seen anything like this in my life. Civil war. <laughs> it is. Even amongst my friends, who are all highly intelligent people, completely <laughs> divided on the abortion issue. For instance, some of my friends think these pro-life people are annoying idiots. Yeah. 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 Other my friends, think these pro-life people are evil fucks. <laughs> How are we going to come to a consensus? <laughs> you want to hear the arguments around my house. They're annoying. They're idiots. They're evil. They're fucks. Our sisters come together. As I beseech you, can't we once just join as one? You can think of them as evil, annoying idiot fox. But that's me, the diplomat, Libra Rising. And I don't mean to be facetious or about the issue of life and birth and death, uh, okay? Well, I mean, come on. First of all, these people say they're sanctity of life, right? We believe in sanctity of life. Well, if that's true, instead of blocking med clinics, why don't you block fucking cemeteries and let's see how serious you are. <laughs> Lock arms at a fucking cemetery and a funeral procession is coming through. <laughs> She's not coming through! She was 93, she was hit by a bus! There's Opta 
bitch. You know, and I'm so sorry, people walking around on eggshells on the idea of abortion too, that to be too, because it doesn't allow for the spectrum of debate to broaden it, you know, provide like different points of view. Even pro-choice people are like, we're not pro-abortion, we're pro-choice. We're not pro-abortion, we're pro-choice. We just don't believe the government has the right to tell us what we can or cannot do with our own bodies. We're not pro-abortion, we're pro-choice. <laughs> Hey, don't walk on eggshells for my sake. Fucking say it. People suck. There's too many of them. And they're easier to kill when they're fetuses than when they're grown. Say it! If I may throw my political hat in the ring. If you, know, if you know which party I'm with. The party of just fucking me. Tired of this back slapping aren't people neat fucking movement going on. Shut up! Aren't people the keenest things on the planet? Fuck that! You're a virus with shoes! Shut up! Now I'll tell you something else. Let's save the planet, people. Save the planet. Save the planet. We gotta save it. You wanna save the planet? Kill yourself. Otherwise, you're just yelling into the fucking window. Doing radio at six in the fucking morning. The last time I did morning radio ever again. These morning DJs, it's fucking pathetic. Aging, satyr wannabes, right? They're like 107 combined age, you know? They're in walkers, leering audibly over the radio. So, Bill, you've been in Australia. You've been polishing your act. <laughs> What's he been polishing? Ah, we'll be right back. <laughs> I woke up for this. <laughs> well, we've got to come to some new, some new ideas about life. Okay, I'm not being facetious about abortion. It might be a real issue. It might not. It doesn't really matter to me because what matters is. You really believe in sanctity of life, and you believe it for people of all ages. That's what I hate about this fucking child worship syndrome going on around. Take the children. Take the children. The, how many children were in the wake of the children? Hey, what does that mean? They reach a certain age, they're off your fucking love list? <laughs> fuck your children. If that's the way you're feeling, fuck you with them. You either love people in general from all ages, or you shut the fuck up. <laughs> Philosophy is this, man. I don't know. I'm chasing this philosophy like a hound. I don't know where it's going. <laughs> trying to tree it, you know. But we've got to come to some new ideas. We have to keep growing. For one thing, this idea that childbirth is a miracle. Now, I don't know who started this vicious fucking root. They owe the world an apology. Childbirth is a miracle. It's such a miracle. No, it's not. No more miracle than eating food and having a turd fall out of your head. It's a chemical reaction. That's all it is. Okay? It's not a miracle for every nine months and a yin-yang in the world can drop a litter of these mewling fucking cabbages on the planet. And in case you have not checked a single mom statistics lately, the miracle is spreading like wildfire. <laughs> Trailer parks all over America. Filling up with little Americans. <laughs> like frogs laying eggs. <laughs> Lick it out, my little miracle. <laughs> Filling up my trailer like a sardine can. It wouldn't be a real miracle if I could remember your daddy's name. I think someone has to call you Trucker Junior. That's all I remember about your daddy. It's this fussy little pot belly riding on top of me, shooting his caffeine ridden semen into my belly to produce my little waterhead miracle baby child. There's your brother, Pizza Boy Delivery Junior. There's your other brother, Will Work for Food Junior. Hallelujah. Think of all the 
those unwanted, illiterate miracles brought to the planet Earth. Bring them on. Keep them coming. Dan Quayle needs their support in 94. Isn't that the truth? Unwanted kids make great fucking fundamentalists. And that's why they want you to keep pumping them out. Can't support them, can't feed them, can't raise them, don't even love them, punk. Bring them on. Why don't you just get the fucking cops camera to shine up your fucking pussy and film the little criminal coming out? This is crime prevention. Here comes another illiterate, unwanted child. Call him Breno. just for a couple of seconds until we figure out this food air deal. <laughs> Let's get a grip on the food air deal. The Americans don't even realize that. We do look like Buddha. You go to other countries, they're fucking starving. We're so arrogant. We have a comic named Gallagher who destroys food with a fucking hammer. <laughs> and all these fat Americans on the front row. <laughs> Melon could have fed a family of five in Guatemala. <laughs> Where are we the rich ones? <laughs> Fairness. <laughs> but the idea of childbirth is a miracle bullshit. I'll tell you something else. I'll go you one first. Not only is childbirth not a miracle. Are you ready for this? Childbirth isn't natural. I'll let that sink in. It's not natural. I know you think it's natural, but it's not. We're not meant to have children. We're not even meant to be in bodies. We're supposed to be in a fucking garden right now, leaning against a tree, naming animals. <laughs> <laughs> this miscreation of a fucking nightmare happened. You know? It's not natural. Then. No guy in this room wants a child. <laughs> Any guy in this room who says or thinks he wants a child is no longer a man, but a pussy-whipped freak of nature. Who should be out buying Michael Bolton albums, renting Alan Alda films, and reading leather-bound editions of Donahue transcripts. Because you're no longer a man, you're off the guy club list. Because guys are children, and we don't want the fucking competition. <laughs> you mean there'll be something in the house cuter than me? This cannot do. This will not do. This must be stopped. It's women! Women! You have this unholy need, this emptiness. I need something to love. Love me, you bitch! I'm right here! What have you been lying to me? What the fuck? I promise never to mature. You're acting childish. Perfect! I will be your child man. Childbirth not a miracle. Not only is childbirth not natural, but here's the one who brings them in and drugs. This is what's kept me in a state of anonymity across the country for 12 years. If you have to, I'm sorry to tell you this. Your children are not special. <laughs> Your children are special. I'm aware of your feelings. You have to think your children are special. That's one of the hallucinations. One of the illusions. One of the fantasies you have to have when having a child. Otherwise, we would be like sane and normal animals, and we would eat our fucking meat. Because that's natural. Every species eats their fucking young. That's natural. 
Congratulations, Mr. and Miss Jones. It's a canned ham. <laughs> Honey, it was worth the wait. Thank you. Now I know why they call it a little oven. <laughs> time a guy comes, he comes 200 million sperm. Did you know that? 200 million sperm. And you mean to tell me you think your child is special? Because one out of 200 million sperm connected? Gee, what are the fucking odds? 200 million? You know what that means? I have wiped entire civilizations of my chest with a gray gym sock. carrying beans out there, but that holier than now, we have the gift of life. Attitude. I tossed universes in my underpants while napping. Wasn't even thinking about it. Boom, a Milky Way shoots into my jockey shorts. Oh, what's for fucking breakfast? It'll be great. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you very much.